I am joined now by Kazu Suenaga, and your Symposium X talk is titled Electron Microscopy and Spectroscopy of Low Dimensional Materials at the Single Atom Level. What are some of the key points of your talk? Yes, okay. We have been developing the electron microscope techniques for a long time, and now it is quite important for the material scientists to have some characterization techniques atom by atom. Because for the bulk 3D materials, uh, we may have not needed to, to, to visualize the structure atom by atom, but now the material scientists are working on the very low dimensional materials, like one atomic layer materials or one single chain of atoms. In this case, if we have one defect, or if we have one impurities, or if we have one dopant atoms, the properties are becoming uh, very uh, changeable. It's very sensitive to the structure. So this is the reason why we need the atom by atom identification techniques for materials characterizations. So it's very critical. What are some of the devices or applications that a non-scientist would see as a result of this kind of work? Yes, of course now, the, as I told you, that the materials or devices are becoming smaller and smaller and sometimes now one single molecule can act as a device or a single atom may uh, act as a device in the near future. So in this case we really need to uh, have our techniques to sense the structures atom by atoms. And it is also important for, for scientific view in history because since the ancient Greek, we, I mean, the, the philosopher really need, really uh, expecting some structures like uh, assembly of atoms. And at that time, they did not, they, they have never dreamt about um, the, the visualizing the atom by atom the structures, but now we really in, uh, able to uh, see or identify the, all the structures atom by atom. So this is uh, not only for the technological viewpoint, but it's very important uh, even in a fundamental science viewpoint. Mm -hmm. So this is a contribution to the human knowledge also. So this is very much an uh, exciting field for so us. So for scientists, this is very significant. It is a dream, right? Yeah, it has been a dream of scientists for quite a long time, yes. Where do you see this field in the next, say, 10 years? Yes, because now, yes, we are now uh, visualizing the structure atom by atom, but it can be um, extended to see some reactions or the biological activities in, in atomic levels. Because, for example, if you are, if you are, uh, um, organized, if you have some uh, blood molecules, can show some uh, atomic structures, and this this can kind of the. The hemoglobin brings oxygen in your blood, but we could see such kind of the, the, the functions atom by atom if you see one molecule structure and how the, the oxygen can be uh, carried out or, 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 or delivered in, 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 your, in your system. So that's quite uh, important because we begin to see such kind of chemical reactions on and how the atoms are reacting each other. So this is also a very challenging uh, aspect for our researchers. Well, it's very fascinating what you're doing. Thank you so much for sharing it with you with us. Kazu Suenaga, we Thank appreciate it. Thank you very much, Kathleen. Thank you. Thank you.